This week on The Wire, incentives activate buyers, 70% of investors ready to buy and demand keep prices stable. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off with our top story for this week, incentives activate buyers. So the Housing Industry Association estimates the federal government grant to new home builders and renovators could generate $15 billion in national economic activity. Reports suggest land buyers are highly active, seeking home sites to take advantage of the new offer. Homeowners wanting to build a new home or undertake a major renovation may be entitled to a grant of up to $25,000 under the government stimulus package for the construction industry. The Home Builder Program will be restricted to people on middle incomes and to new homes and major renovations, valued between $150,000 to $750,000. Singles who earn up to $125,000 in the previous financial year and couples who earn up to $200,000 will be eligible to apply. The pre-renovation value of the host house must not exceed $1.5 million and it cannot include sheds, pools, granny flats or other structures attached to the home. The temporary scheme, which will last until the end of the year, aims to build 30,000 homes by Christmas. And now for our next story, 70% of investors ready to buy. So seven out of 10 property investors say it's a good time to buy residential property with the majority also believing it's business as usual, according to a survey by the Property Investment Professionals of Australia and the Property Investors Council of Australia. The results, which examine the market's short-term prospects, are down only slightly from an investor sentiment survey conducted in September last year. PIPA Chairman Peter Koulosos says the survey shows that investors were overwhelmingly optimistic. Nearly 60% of respondents indicated that the pandemic had not made them change their investment plans over the next six months, with a further 18% saying the crisis had actually made it more likely they would purchase a property over that time frame. The survey results also showed about 30% of investors were more likely to buy a property in the next six to 12 months because of the pandemic. Kulazos, I should say, sorry, says most investors have the financial buffers to see them through the current economic uncertainty. And now for our final story of the week, demand keeps prices stable. So reports of a stronger than expected job market and only modest house price declines during the coronavirus lockdown suggest property values won't fall as much as previously thought, and that comes from market experts. UBS, which previously forecast a price collapse, has upgraded its outlook for the housing market. The bank now expects a smaller price decline of between 5 to 10% this year. The Real Estate Institute of Australia President Adrian Kelly says previous forecasts of 30% price drops were highly questionable. Kelly says the property market is experiencing an increase in prospective buyers whilst, whilst listings remain lower than normal. It is simple economics that when supply decreases and demand remains, that prices edge upwards, he says. CoreLogic ANZ and AMP Capital uh, were in unison with their forecasts of a peak to trough decline of less than 10%. The early signs of a trough in the labour market and consumption mean the contraction in GDP is less than initially forecast, says UBS. This revision is more about the economy than the stimulus. Well, guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now, please like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. Bye for now.